Hi, I didn't, I wasn't very successful switching sides with the computer, my phone camera. So I'm just doing a second video with this computer animation I have for you, which is to link circular motion and simple harmonic motion. So this is your reference circle. There's your reference particle in yellow and it just displaced the simple harmonic motion particle to the side. It's kind of like a spring going up and down. Now, the origin of the set of axes over here at the center of the reference circle is your equilibrium position. So at the moment, they're both in equilibrium and I'll just play the animation. The two things you're going to look for is how the reference particle moves anti-clockwise in the circle and in that same amount of time the simple harmonic motion particle is going to go up and down. One more thing that I'd like you to know is that the reference particle and the simple harmonic motion particle are always in the same horizontal line. So if the simple harmonic motion particle were going up and down this axis here, when the simple harmonic motion particle is here, the reference particle is in the same horizontal line there. If the reference particle is traveled up here, the simple harmonic motion particle is there. Okay, so here is the animation for you to watch. Okay, I'll do that once more. A lot of the time people miss it the first time. So you're looking at two things, the gray circle and the yellow circle. Okay. There we go. So that's your equilibrium position, y equals zero, which means displacement zero. Everything above the x-axis is positive, so it's positive displacement and maximum displacement is your amplitude. Okay, so the radius of your reference circle is also the amplitude of simple harmonic motion particle. Anything below the x-axis is negative displacement, so minus a. Looking at what happens to the velocity at these three positions, your velocity is a maximum at the center, the equilibrium position, zero at the two ends. Okay, I'll derive this for you in a bit. And looking at acceleration, it's just come up in green. Acceleration is a zero in the center. It's proportional to displacement. So when displacement zero, acceleration zero. When displacement is a maximum, positive maximum, acceleration is a negative maximum. Okay, so it's um, proportional, but in the opposite direction. And what to remember is acceleration is always directed towards the center, whereas displacement is always away from the center. All right, then I think that should do for the reference circle.